It's really disgusting. It's it's hard to take, really, as a spectator who knows at least something about what's going on here. Oh, but don't worry. Uh, he got one more tape recorded. Now, now normally, AP will even run with um, new Bin Laden tape, nukes to be detonated, you know, months ago. And then at the bottom of a three-page article, this was an unsubstantiated message board. And the media is so primed to follow any new fake Bin Laden tape that, what, five, six years ago, a college student did a fake beheading in their garage. The media for months ran with it till they came out and said it was fake. Yeah. I, I mean, there's no journalistic integrity. I could have you dress up in a turban and a beard right now and say you were Bin Laden. They'd probably, you know, if it went with their story, buy it, uh, Aaron. But uh, now... Now there's a new Bin Laden tape right on the way, and now they may release video of the burial at sea. Isn't there a contradiction, too? Wait a minute. When they killed Saddam's sons the first of three times, they put up images of them. we got to dig this out, of their blasted bodies side by side with shrapnel wounds. And later they said, actually, that was wax figurines to illustrate what they looked like. Remember that? I mean, again, this is PSYOP. They're testing and training you. I'm sorry, Aaron. Go ahead. Well, it's sick, too, how they roll out the various supposed sons of bin Laden. I remember three or four years ago, it was this will be the summer of bin Laden's son. He's coming back with a vengeance in Iraq. And then nothing ever played out with that. Now they're saying... No, it's Anwar al Awlaki. We're like, he's a middle the Pentagon. Never mind. He's still dangerous. Adam Gadon, well, he's a, uh Israeli operative. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, but tell me what you've seen. I've seen... Al-Qaeda led by the Jewish firebrand. Grandson of the ADL head, battling for freedom. I mean, it's just like, what? Every area of this has a total hoax, but just in the reports today, I don't know about you, but I saw a number of reports where first they were planning to kill bin Laden no matter what, then they were planning only to capture him, but oh, bin Laden... That's right, no, 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 first it was... Resisted. First it was he... he we, we told him to come out with his hands up. That was the first report. And he fought to the end. And then later, White House ordered kill, immediately kit everyone. Well, it sounds like these phony police things we see here domestically. Oh, they resisted, so they got shot in the back. Oh, they resisted, so they were tasered to death or, or whatever the case may be. And, and they say, well, glad, I'm glad they killed him. Really, the, the real bin Laden, not the fake computer morph videos or old tapes recut together, put out letters and real audios that were confirmed by the linguist to be him saying, I didn't do this, the West did. Well, that's the thing with any enemy, whether it's a war enemy or somebody more ex uh, reclusive and exclusive like bin Laden, uh, they never let him talk in prison if they are captured and arrested. Uh, very often. That's like McVeigh told his jailmates, affidavits, everything. He was black ops. Uh, so did Terry Nichols, right? Yeah. Didn't Milosevic say some of the same things? Oh, but then he started talking too much and had a little heart attack. He was given uh, a poison. We'd have to go back case by case, or at least I would, but a lot of those turn out that way. The big enemies always have a lot more to tell, but they're usually not allowed to speak. Well, there's no, the, the problem, Aaron, is the globalists continue to get away with everything. And now they've tested the public again with just a completely hollow, ridiculous piece of propaganda. But the good news is they tried to totally push it. Now the headlines are everywhere. Can the U.S. offer final proof of Obama's death? You know, the world's not buying it. And I've talked to a lot of people. Uh, that's why on local talk radio, almost like a, a memo went out. It was only military today. We want to hear about this day of pride. And it was just... After being wounded over there, you know, well-meaning guys, I'm just so glad we killed him, boy. And they're like, thank you, sir, thank you, thank you. But I've talked to everybody here in the office, talking to their families, people at uh, other folks' office that I know. No one is buying it, especially when they went, we're not getting the body. <laughs> oh, by the way, though, I've been calling through a lot of email, which is hundreds and hundreds for those who don't know. And a lot of people are saying they're being banned from Facebook, banned from well-known news forums, uh, not allowed to post things contrary to the official Bin Laden account from today. Well, you can always tell when it's an op. Yeah, oh, they do not want it. Uh, plus, there is 30-plus thousand articles just saying, Jones, who believes in UFOs, says it didn't happen, and that Elvis is with him. Washington Post called me, and they said, do you think Elvis is with him? And I said, come on, that's, that's just pure conspiracy theory stuff. You want to do a label. No, Elvis isn't serious stuff, still alive. They, they, they've said bin Laden's been killed many times. And I said, the government lied about WMDs. But I can see it tomorrow when it comes out. Alex Jones? Because she kept asking me, well, what about Elvis? Do you, you think he's still alive, too? <laughs> Maybe she should laugh. Did, are you saying they didn't find WMDs? Because they did. 
I've always said, I think years after the fact, they're going to find nukes in Iraq. To, again, after the fact, to legitimize the next phase. See, they got bin Laden and they found the nukes in Iraq. Mm. Good war. TSA needs to stick their hand down my pants, and I, they need to raise my taxes. I'm patriotic. Well, I know that point's been raised, too, but I don't know if it's been hammered upon yet. Yeah, do we get our civil liberties back now that now that target number one is taken care of here? Oh, no, they've told you it's worse. They're going to strike back now. Oh, we're sorry. You lose all your rights now. It still could be a six-year-old at the airport who's the terrorist. Even uh, he's obviously with the little girls with bin Laden, sir. Oh, but Bin Laden's dead. And we need some woman who's got like a linebacker voice with a butch haircut going, I think she did a great job searching that six-year-old. This is our policy. I'm John Napolitano for Homeland Security. No, I'm not Jenna Reno. I just look like her. Bizarre. It's just, it's just complete cartoon tyranny. Aaron, continue for a few minutes while I get my documentation together before I go over some of this info for people. Problem is, we do a screenshot, look at, or a, a wide shot, all these articles here. It, it's just every one of them just as total nightmares. I mean, it's, they're hitting everything. Torture's good, it did this. Killing people extraditionally is good. Surveillance illegally is wonderful. The wars were all good. Oh, it's all wonderful. Oh, the new wars. It's just, oh, it's great. TSA, give up all your rights. See, it's real. Terrorist hits you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Bankers need all your money. We're going to rape you. Oh, we care about you. Gaddafi had paid rape groups with, 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 with Viagra. Turned out that was a total lie. I mean, it's just armies of men raping women with Viagra. They just use some cartoonish thing that women will sit around coolers going, damn that Gaddafi, they had men with Viagra. Turns out it's all lies. He didn't run to Venezuela. He didn't strafe crowds. Uh, he didn't have ra r the rape rooms. That woman they kept putting on the TV, oh, they raped me, and turns out it's all lies. I mean, it's just, it's craziness. Remember the babies in the incubators? Mm -hmm. Turned out that was pure PR. Remember that, folks? 20 years ago? Remember how dumb they think you are? And you just buy it again because you can stick a plastic flag on your car. Oh, I'm sorry, Aaron. It's sick what they do with the presidents, too. It's like they're projecting an old warrior culture, like this is some tough king who finally got the job done and, and went out there. And, and notice they had, they had for months scripted the posthumous Congressional Medal of Honor to the day after, and it was all camera snapping. And it was like uh, the... Uh, mm, Mission accomplished landing, but it was, they're going, look at what a commander he is. And re Republicans were on Fox going, I got to admit, I'm liking Obama right now. I was out there watching the break. I got to admit, he's tough. And I remember watching him on Fox going, he's quite a commander. You know, he was actually a fighter pilot. Oh, yeah, he, he's, Bush is a great leader. He had this big cod piece. It was the same thing on Fox today. Just during a three-minute break, I turned it on. It was on. I turned the audio up, and they're just like, look at him giving him those medals. He looks like a commander. I got to admit, I'm liking him right now. I'm liking him. I mean, it was almost, look at him. You know, he's, he is a fighter pilot. He, 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 he. I mean, it's all scripted. They just said, okay, we can't do a mission accomplished. We're going to have him the day after give all these Congressional Medal of Honors. And then, and then have him in the background going, oh, my gosh, this is incredible. This is such a war leader. He wasn't seen as a leader just days ago. His approval rating was down, but you watch. He's getting ready. And you know what? Syria needs to be hit. And they're like, I oh, know. He, he's going to hit him. He's, I'm telling you, I'm kind of liking Obama right now. Yeah. Oh, he's a leader. Of course, they didn't mention, by the way, the insurance companies wrote the health plan. He's not a socialist. He's a fascist. Not that socialists are good. It's totally sick. They went to Shanksville and Ground Zero, too, to use them as new stage props after uh, Osama bin Laden is killed, allegedly. Oh, oh Obama, is Obama is going. Obama is going to Ground Zero to grandstand. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sure he is. I, I, oh, it's been announced. I, that's the way they do it. That's, you know, use the victims as a stage prop. Uh, I'm tempted to go there and try to protest him, but the cops, like, probably Billy Club me, we're having our special time right now. You're not going to stop the president. I'm like, oh, we actually got you funding in Congress for health care, and now you're put on a terror list to get it. And they're just, I don't care. Oh, he beat Bin Laden. He beat him. And, 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 and I'd like to go down there and say, Where, why'd you cover up the dust? You know? I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead. No. And uh, Luke, in this video, he's just released that he shot last night at the White House. He encountered also Geraldo. By the way, protests are normally not allowed uh, at the holy site. Remember, we've been there and came and videotape at the park across the street. And I, I go, cops, what's the law? And they just go, the law is I got a gun. 
Yeah. Get your butt out of here, American scum. We run this country now. We're getting your bank accounts. We work for foreign bankers. Of course, they don't even know that. Oh, I I'm sorry. Tell us about Luke. You gotta answer their questions on the spot. But he saw Geraldo Rivera, who's previously at least asked some questions about Building 7, says yes. Maybe that is strange. He's he asked him on the spot, and I, I know he could hear him, you know, aren't you going to talk about Building 7 now in this context with the uh, Bin Laden dead story? Aren't you going to talk about Building 7 now? He wouldn't do it. He clearly brushed him That's off. That's right. Geraldo just so happened to run out there at the same crowd with Luke, and he's going, it's bigger than the day the Kennedy got shot. Everyone will remember it. It's strange. No, see, Geraldo started going public for 9-11 Truth because he was swayed by the movement growing. These guys just go whichever way the wind blows. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen all the Luke video. We're going to get it up on InfoWars and Prison Planet. I know it was on his show on RT, or the show he was guest hosting, and then they, they were playing clips of it. But just the clips I saw was like people going, We killed Saddam! We're going to cruise missile everybody! We're going to kill him. And I was like, they're like, but sir, it's been Laden. Him too. I it's like know. the redneck guys, parking lot them all. Yeah, it was that kind of crowd. I don't know the story behind the staging of the crowd, but they were extremely brainwashed, just to put it simply. I mean, you, you've got to see this video. Not even brainwashed. These people were like, you've seen Idiocracy. Yeah. They actually could have walked right on, no acting, no scripting, and acted as stupid or dumber than 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 the the uh, people in idiocracy. It's not a joke. That's who. That, this country is full of people like that. And that's why we sit here because we're half smart and go. This propaganda is all completely ridiculous. It's because it's targeting those people. Bin Laden, bad man, he get you. And they're like bin, bin Saddam. No, Bin Laden. Bin Laden, Bin Laden, but Bin Laden, I, you stick your hand down my pants and waste my taxes, keep me safe. And they're like, we keep you safe from you. And they're like, I'm not good for you. That's only barely an exaggeration. No, I mean, it was, no, I, some of those people were like, look at me. I mean, uh, we talk about fluoride. We got it. We do. I don't know what the real explanation could be. It's. How do those people know so little about what's going on? I still make mistakes. I don't know everything that's going on. Uh, you know, I still confuse names or something, but I have a general idea of what's going on behind the scenes, what's not admitted. But these people know absolutely nothing. They've been drinking fluoride in McDonald's their entire life. They're, they're all... I don't know. I'm not even sure that explains it. It's just... It's totally bizarre. The complete, you know, the term sheeple, it's totally... They don't even know who bin Laden is, but they're celebrating his death, basically. But we know he's a CIA asset. He's Tim Osman, you know, fielded by Brzezinski along with the rest of the uh, Taliban. In the no, it's, it's scary. I've never seen anything like it. I think that's the other thing. I think the old bin Laden script is now brushing up against the Al-Qaeda's our ally in Libya script. Well, there is the founder of real Al-Qaeda, the protege, Secretary of Defense then... Robert Gates, I mean, he was Secretary of Defense back then, uh, or the Under Secretary of State. Pull up uh, uh, Robert Gates' uh, history, because I know uh, Cheney, uh, Rumsfeld had been Secretary of Defense earlier too, correct? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. I yeah. forget the exacts, though. But, but when we've had all these historians on, and I've read Brzezinski's two books on it, he talks about Robert Gates ran the Al-Qaeda operation. He ran the, the Taliban. And so here is, in, in, in this... Put up Drudge for me, uh, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, the file photo, if it's still up there, please, if we can do that, uh, where, where it shows. I mean, I've got it here in my hand, and it shows uh, Hillary in a purely scripted photo going, oh, 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 it's horrible. And then it's got Obama in a clear, you know, really intense, acting tough, looking at the screen. It's got Gates with this look enjoying himself. It's got all these other ghoulish-looking White House advisors watching, and it's all about them grandstanding and acting all tough. I mean, it's just total and complete weaseldom, and the photo is as fake as a $3 bill. I mean, you can just look at the crafting of this whole thing, and it just makes me want to throw up. And I had not one, not two, but three. State Department, White House, high-level people, on record. It's not like I'm just saying this now. 
saying it was all going to be staged and he'd be on ice and this would happen. You know, I... And see, off of this fake euphoria, this fake tribal victory, uh, that's why Napoleon said, you can read the quotes, it's amazing men will give their lives up and throw themselves on the bayonets for little pieces of metal. Little pieces of gold-plated tin. They only invented those metals 200 and something years ago.